Okay, so I think the obvious name I haven't mentioned so far is Justin Herbert, and he is my fourth quarterback, and I think there's a reasonable gap between like him and then the players behind him. And I think he is a prime example of of, of someone who whose draft status is all about upside. And I, I mean, he. I mean, so we're recording this today. It, it, it's the, the the combine interviews have started happening. I know he 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 said today that he you know wasn't sure about NFL game speed potentially, and that, that you know he, he's aware that teams might want to, to sit him for a year and develop. And I think that's absolutely right. And I think the it's not that he can't do it. It's just that that, that his his value is in his arm and in his mobility, uh, and his his you know his his touch is actually pretty good. And you know it, it it's. It's it's he's got a complete set of physical tools, and it's more about can he develop the the, the mental side of the game in a pro style system, um, and, and can he op- what is his ceiling in that regard? And, and so for him, interviews are going to be massively important because teams c- need him to get better for him to to, to, to show the kind of value that, that they're going to draft him to have. Um, and I think there he is he is for me the choice of the developmental guys. And when I say developmental guys, I don't mean sort of you know they're completely without um, technical prowess but it's more that, that if you put Justin Herbert in week one it's a bit of a gamble 